very good. Yep, I know everything. I know opera. <laughs> I'm just really happy that I get to revisit this because this was a very big part of my childhood. And so um, a lot of memories are flooding back. And it's, it's so weird seeing like my little sister play the same role. It's, just, it's really crazy if you, if you think about it. So I'm, I'm really happy for her. And I'm really excited for this new experience for her. Walking into the studio brings back a lot of memories. But this, this feels like um, a long time ago, you know, that I was here. And to finally be back is um, it's really nice. And I'm glad that Abigail gets to experience the same things that I got to experience. I was a little older than her when I um, started. So she's five right now. I was, I believe, was it six or seven? I think one of the main things that helped me um, just go with the flow was having fun and being aware of my surroundings. Uh, listening was very important as this role you don't talk. I remember being on stage and it just felt like home. Even that young, I enjoyed the heck out of <laughs> performing. After the Atlanta Opera, I kind of started doing more solo singing. I, I, I decided I wanted to audition for America's Got Talent. And I think that was, that was a really big leap in my career. I didn't make it the first time, actually. Um, so I auditioned the second time, and I made it. This is my first time up in Ava Abra, and I'm so excited to be part of a show. My sister played this role before. I wasn't nervous for my audition because it's a botanic and so much fun. I was excited to play Zorro and um, be a boy. <laughs> I got to wear a wig and make and all that. But other than that, this boy's personality is completely different than from when I was younger. I was a very spunky and charismatic kid and very outspoken. But Zorro, he had, he had a very hard life to live. I see a lot of myself in my sister. Um, of course, she is her own person and she's growing and she can be whoever she wants to be. Um, I see that she has a very big imagination and she creates stories of her own. She's like a sponge right now. She's a very malleable <laughs> sponge. So she, I think she'll do a very good job of soaking in all, the, all her surroundings and learning very quickly. She's a very fast learner. So I have no doubt that she's gonna do amazing. And she honestly, like, I, I can see that she has a love for this and I'm happy that she does. But all I want her to know right now is that she just, she can have fun. It's gonna be an awesome show. And come, come, come to Manma Butterfly.